Good morning. Hey. <laughs> oh, Good Shepherd friends. It's been so long. It has been so long since I have given a shout out to you. Um, I want to show you where I am this morning. All right. So, y'all know I'm not very good, but um this I yeah yeah, let's see if I can get it in there. All right. That's my car. I'm parked um on the street, not in the parking lot. And look at that. Do you see what's coming into view? Do you see it? I think you see it. It's one of my favorite places. Yes. Church of the Good Shepherd. Um, I'm waiting for y'all um, and some of your parents. They're coming this morning. And if they're not, then I will get it to you. But it has been a tradition at Church of the Good Shepherd on this Sunday in the year to make in the parish hall Advent wreaths. So normally we wouldn't come to our Sunday school class and we would go in the parish hall and we would have things to make an Advent wreath. And I did not want us to miss out. All right, so I'm gonna show you what's gonna come in your bag and what you can do with it. All right, so we're gonna do a little un unboxing video. And the light's not great here because it's kind of like um, cloudy and a little bit foggy still outside. Um, we're gonna get just a plain brown bag, okay? And it is just one per family. So we're gonna have to share these. Now, as we get closer to Christmas, I'm gonna give you some ideas of crafts and activities you can do um, by yourself or just one per student. But I wanna remind you, this is a family bag, all right? So in your bag, you're gonna find a gold plate, all right? Now this gold plate is just um, a kind of paper or plastic, okay? So it's not very fancy, but I wanna remind you, things become special because we give specialness to them. Things can become special because we use them. And I want you to use this plate every Sunday until we get to Christmas, all right? So you're gonna have to like um, kind of be careful with it. I suggest that you set it on your kitchen table or on um, the bar maybe in your kitchen or maybe somewhere else where you see it often, all right? And this is gonna be the base of our wreath. Now, when I think of a wreath, I think of something green that is round that hangs on a door. But our wreath is not gonna be round on the bottom. It's gonna be a gold square. Um, and it's gonna sit on a table. But the things we put into it are gonna make somewhat of a circle, all right? And I'm gonna have most of the things, but some of the things you're ha gonna have to add for yourself. Now, inside your bag, there are going to be four candles, all right? And I hope that they're fairly good candles. You're going to get four of them. Now, Advent wreaths don't usually have white candles in them. Usually, the, the candles are colored, and three of the four candles are usually purple or lavender. And so in your bag, you're gonna have, what do you call these? Pipe cleaners, all right? And you can put some purple pipe cleaners if you want it around three of your candles. All right, if you have brothers and sisters, you might wanna share doing that. But I'm also gonna tell you that um, sometimes it's hard for little fingers or even big fingers like Miss Melanie to do these pipe cleaners. If you don't like the pipe cleaner idea to make three of your candles purple, then I'm gonna tell you, you can use some purple ribbon, all right? You can wrap your ribbon around your candle 
and then you can tie it off. If you're really good, you can tie it off into a bow, but Miss Melanie is not that good at tying. All right, I'm also gonna tell you, if you want more and more purple, you can do the pipe cleaner and the ribbon, all right? So three of the four candles are going to be purple, and the fourth candle is gonna be pink. And just like I had a purple pipe cleaner and a purple ribbon, Miss Melanie has for you a pink pipe cleaner and a pink ribbon. All right, you're gonna put them on your plate. Okay, and we're gonna kind of arrange it um, somewhat like a circle. And then I am gonna ask you if you will leave some space in the middle because there's one candle that is missing. And that's gonna be the Christmas Eve night or Christmas Day candle. And we're gonna add that on Christmas Eve. The middle is gonna be white and it's gonna be called, or it is called, the Christ candle. And this is one of your assignments and you have four weeks to finish it. I would like for you and your family to look for at home, or if you're out and get to shop, I want you to look for your own very special white candle that will either sit in the bottom, or maybe mom or grandma or an aunt even has a candle holder and if you want a tall one to put in the middle, in the middle, a taper candle, you could even put a little candle holder there, all right? So eventually, our wreath is gonna have how many candles? Five, four around, three purple, one pink, and one in the middle, middle on Christmas Eve, the Christ candle, okay? I would love for you today to watch a video that's about two minutes long and it's about the candle for today. So today, the first Sunday of Advent, when we're going to get ready for Christmas to come, when Jesus is born, the Savior of the world the light of the world. We're gonna light one candle and we're gonna leave the rest unlit. And we're gonna look at this candle and we are gonna remember that in days long ago, some great prophets told that Jesus was coming. This is the candle of hope. And I know that this year especially, you and I and our families are hoping for lots of things because we've had a very hard year. Guess what? Our year is over and a new church year is starting. You know I have to be a little bit fun and silly I told myself that I was going to do this, that I was going to sing. Do you know what time it is? Time it is, time it is. Do you know what time it is? It's Advent time. Or it's getting ready for Christmas time. Can we talk about time for just a couple of minutes? When a baby is born, they don't know anything about time. And do you know what? As babies start to grow, mamas and daddies and grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles and big brothers and big sisters try to train that baby to know when it is nighttime and when it is daytime. And sometimes it takes that baby a long time to get adjusted to when nighttime is. 
as that baby gets a little older, maybe starts going to preschool, that baby starts to learn that not only are there days and nights, but there are weeks. And sometimes that young child will learn a song about the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. And then, after that young child understands about days of the week, that child may start to understand that there are months of the year. Have y'all ever sang a song about months of the year? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August. That's right. Well, before long, that baby, that young person starts counting years, don't they? That's right. A child counts years starting with when they were born. They count years by birthdays. As we get older, a lot of times, everyone in the world starts counting the years through the 12 month cycle. And we know that by the calendar that we use right now, we are in the year 2020. Sometimes though, we are a little older and we start going to school. And some of us count days and months and count the year by the school calendar year. A lot of our school calendar started this year in September. Usually it starts in August. And usually the school calendar is finished in May or June. Friends, one of my absolute favorite ways to count time, though, is the church calendar. And that's what we're doing with our Advent wreath. We are starting over. So last night would have been our church New Year's Eve. And today would be our church New Year's Day. And the first season in our church year is when we get ready for the birth of the Christ Child King. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to put a video in the comments, a link, and I would love for you to watch it today or this week. It's going to tell you a little about prophets and about hope which we celebrate with the first candle that we are lighting. And it's gonna ask you some questions to think about with your family. There are gonna be questions that start with, I wonder, W-O-R-W-O-N-D-E-R, wonder. That means, I think about, I wonder what. We would love for you to think Think about maybe while you're taking a little wander, W-A-N-D-E-R, and that's a walk. I'm outside today, and I am going to take a walk. And as I take a walk, I may just find some green things to pick and to add around to make a circle on my advent wreath. Friends are leaving church right now, the eight o'clock service, and I'm thinking that some of your parents may be coming by soon. So I'm gonna say goodbye.